All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are back with another absolutely fantastic, magical, wonderful experience coming to you straight through your screen. Um, all thanks to me because I'm just, you know, I'm just that amazing. But, um, you know, pretty much today we are taking a look at, at something crazy. Now, this is going to be like a special, never before seen. Uh, brand new. It's never happened before. This is going to be like a breaking news segment on the Skeleton Key YouTube channel, okay? This is this was not scheduled. This was not planned. This came out of nowhere. This is something that I, I, I just, I have to make a video on. I can't, I can't let it go um, any more than I've already let it go because trust me, I have let this go and I just, I keep telling myself I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to talk about it. I can't, I can't keep myself from talking about it. Um, it's it's become it's the end of the line, you know. I mean, I can't I can't shy away from it anymore. So this was supposed to be, I believe, a part two to actually, uh, you know, a very special video with a virgin and a porn star going on a date. Which uh, unfortunately, that's not what it's even supposed to be the part two to because I had technical difficulties with that. I probably explained that. Um, you know, before, but it, it was going to be a part two to something, probably the button actually, because that's probably the video that I just released before this, but, um, you know, I can't, I, I have to, I have to interject. I have to stop that, um, all that good shit, right? So pretty much today we are going to be talking about a guy named Kevin. Now this guy's YouTube channel has a second part to it. It's not just Kevin. Um, but I don't want to tell you it, one, because I, 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 there's not really any aura of like, oh, well, maybe I'm not talking about him. I'm definitely talking about uh, him. But I do want to give you kind of a, a second warning and another barrier to actually go find this guy. Because I know that there's some weirdos out there who, despite me telling you that this is terrible and, you know, try and stay away from it your morbid curiosity is going to get the better of you and you're just going to have to go see this for yourself um and that is because i also can't provide like concrete evidence to what i'm saying because my video will 100 percent get taken down and i will probably get a strike on my channel however this guy doesn't um which we'll touch on that too but basically kevin blew up because he straight up flashed his asshole on YouTube. Now, didn't just flash his asshole, but straight up spread that chocolate starfish wide open. Now, you may be thinking that sounds absolutely insane. Uh, if you haven't seen it, that's probably your mindset. You'd think there's no way. In fact, even I, after I heard so many people talk about it, including very reputable people who, you know, I watch and I trust on YouTube, people like Critical, right? Somebody who I've watched for years upon years that I, I have a lot of respect and a lot of trust for, I still thought there's no way, like, or at least this is taken off of YouTube. I went and saw that video for myself. Now, I don't know if that's still up. It possibly is, but that's not really what we're talking about today because that's bad, right? But th there's a whole nother level, okay? It, it's devolved into a, a whole nother level. So basically, recently... Um, it's probably like six days. It, it's been out for about a week, right? The video has been out for about a week now. And this was a video that I didn't know about at first. You know, like I said at the beginning of this, this guy, I, I kind of wanted to talk about him, but I was like, you know what? I, I think I'm just going to leave it. I, I don't think I, I feel the absolute need to make a video on this guy. So I'm just going to postpone it. Is it something big? Is it something I could definitely talk about? Yeah. But I'm just, I'm going to try and put it off. And that worked really well until recently. And now actually, this is, you know, not something that I found on my own. Because like I said, I, I'd basically forgotten about the guy. I wasn't, you know, looking into him. Nothing was getting recommended to me. I don't really think anybody's like talking about him too much anymore. So he was like off my radar for the most part. Now, however, um, and this was a disturbing moment in my life my little sister um approached me the other day right and she knows that i make youtube videos and that i'm you know fairly uh accustomed to you know youtube and everything like that i'm on it a lot i watch a lot of things i i talk about weird shit uh stuff like that right so she kind of knows that i do that 
And, um, you know, she approached me and she said, hey, do you remember the guy who showed his asshole on camera? She didn't quite say it like that, but, you know, pretty much. Um, and I was like, yeah. Um, and then she went, well, he, uh, he showed his dick. And I, I, I didn't really know how to react to that. I mean, I don't know how you react in that situation. I, I don't think anything in my life could have prepared me for uh for that moment in time and I, I didn't believe it she was like I, I don't think you really want to watch it but i just wanted to let you know and um you know of course like i explained in the beginning of this video there's just some people out there who their morbid curiosity just always wins and i am one of those people so i had to see this for myself so i went i found his channel uh, i found the video and sure enough very very promptly into the video not not far in at all um he just cock out on the screen um and it's the video is not about that right the video is not about that the video is about taking care of your pubes but at the end of the day it is still a it's still a dick on the screen on youtube a place that isn't you know known for having dicks out on the screen um, if this was, you know, certain other websites, I would be like, yeah, you know, I mean, what I kind of come on here expecting that a little bit. Right. But YouTube, no, you know, YouTube, I, I don't YouTube. I, I, I don't expect that uh, at all, especially with how strict YouTube is most of the time. Now, the reason that he gets away with this is because he I'm assuming um, unless YouTube is just really, really shit when it comes to his channel. Uh, I'm assuming that he just marks his videos as educational. Um, and there's nudity for educational reasons, which is something that exists on YouTube. And now this allows like some of your science YouTubers or like health YouTubers to go ahead and make, uh, informational educational videos where maybe there's a little bit of nudity. Maybe we're talking about a reproductive organ, um, you know, maybe something like that, where like you do need visual demonstration to show and prove your point and stuff like that to, I mean, I don't know, probably honestly college students trying to pass their fucking biology class or something. But, um, you know, like that, that exists on YouTube and YouTube's okay with that. And I'm okay with that. You know, that's fine. It, like there are times in education where you are going to have to see nudity, you know, it, it's almost unavoidable. Right. But, um, I, I don't know if I would consider what he's doing. The, the typical type of, of education now, uh, you know, just to throw it out there, not to hold anything against this guy, but he is gay. Now, we don't have any problems with that on this channel. You know, that's something we are very okay with. I've stated it multiple times. That's absolutely fine. And I'm not making my point. I'm not making any negative point against him based on that. That's not what I'm trying to do with this video at all. Um, but... It, it, it is important to why he makes these videos. Now, he makes these videos because he does kind of like a series or like his channel is about documenting like being a bottom and how to improve or like how to be a better bottom or like stuff like that, right? I don't really 100% get it, but uh, you know, this guy just loves taking big fat cocks in his ass and he makes videos trying to teach other people in similar situations how to be the best at, uh, you know, doing just that, right? Which is fine on its, I mean, on its own, it's fine. Uh, you know, I mean, there's plenty of YouTube channels out there that do general like sex uh, advice kind of things, right? And I mean, we, I, I basically do them, right? With girl chat and tips for dicks. Um, I pretty much do stuff like that. But there's a, a key difference between what he's doing and what, you know, for example, I'm doing with my series. Now, my series is helpful. You can get advice from it. It touches on some, you know, basic principles, right? Things like that. And uh, it's good. It's funny. It's entertaining. And it's, you know, maybe not family friendly, 
but like it's like TV 14, right? You know, like it it's not the most offensive thing in the world, but it's not like, you know, super family friendly because it it, it is still, you know, sex advice at the end of the day. So that's cool and all, but then this guy kind of does that, but also adds in a extreme amount of, you know, visual detail into this. Now I understand maybe you need to use a little bit of visual detail if you're doing something like this, but this guy blatantly does it. And I, I think he knows what he's doing too. Uh, I don't think it's like this guy's just oblivious and just being like, oh, well, I'm just, you know, genuinely trying to teach people how to like shave their ass safely or oh i'm just genuinely trying to show people like how to shave their pubes safely i think this guy knows what he's doing you know deep down and now i say that because he made videos after talking about uh oh yeah people were talking about my size and blah 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 and well i'm asian which is a little weird in its own right you know to kind of stereotype yourself like that um but I, I I don't know. You know, I can't really touch on that one too much. But, like, he does stuff like that where it's kind of like, okay. You know, like, I, I have a feeling he definitely knows what he's doing. For reference, this is how hairy my butt is right now. All right, so step one. Hey, guys. Today, I am going to show you how I trim my pubes and my testicle hairs using an electric razor. Don't mind the size. I was born in Indonesia. No shame in the Asian game. Th His penis is so small. He's got no shame at all. That's what people say. That's what people say. You know, and there's other things where it's just like, we, we don't need to see this. Like another video that he's uploaded recently is, um, you know, I can't stop sharding or something like that, where he literally shows himself on the toilet, taking a shit like, and don't get me wrong. We've all had those shits, right? We've all had those shits where it's like, you think your life is going to end and you're like, man. Nobody could quite comprehend what is what is happening to me right now. I mean, it feels like my life is ending. Uh, th th this could be the end of the road for me, right? Now, we all get those from time to time. It it's normal. But, uh, you know, we don't normally take, like, TikTok video of them and then upload it to YouTube. Or I, I think he almost, like, reacts to it. I don't know, dude. It's weird. It's weird. This whole guy's channel is is strange. I quite frankly don't understand how YouTube hasn't taken action against it. I guess because it has some educational value, but I feel like I feel like even if you are a bottom, right? Like let's say you are gay, let's say you are a bottom and you're looking for advice. I don't know if this is going to be the guy that you like turn to. Like I I don't know. I would love some insight from an actual like, you know, dude who likes you know taking other dudes in the ass um like would you watch this guy for advice please let me know because i i don't i don't get it you know and i could just be coming after this guy for you know the wrong reasons maybe i'm a little lost in my in my thought process and maybe it's not that weird um you know maybe it's just not something for me but I think it's kind of crazy, and I think it's crazy that it's on YouTube more than anything because, I mean, there's a lot of people on YouTube, right? There's a lot of people, and a lot of those people are younger on YouTube, um, and, you know, there's, I understand that a lot of these videos are probably age-restricted, and, um, you know, YouTube does do an, an okay job with age restriction, right? Uh, they're pretty strict about it. So like if there's anything kind of even somewhat close to nudity, pretty much gets age restricted. One of my videos has, has even been age restricted. Um, and, you know, fortunately, I got that overturned and stuff. But, uh, you know, it. I, I, I get it, right? I get that YouTube is trying their best. But 
a lot of people, especially younger kids, will just lie about their age and, um, you know, just they're 18 when they're really like eight. I mean, f- I mean, I did it. I did it when I when I was little and I was on, you know, prepubescent YouTube pretty much, uh, you know, like pre 2015 YouTube, everything like that. Right. Where YouTube was still a little wild. Sometimes you could find some crazy shit on YouTube. F- dude, I-, I lied about my age like crazy on there. Um, you know, YouTube thought I was like fucking 25 and I was like 13. Um, you know, if that, and there's crazy shit you could find. I mean, there's crazy shit on YouTube. Um, but this is kind of on, on a whole nother level, you know, like there is because YouTube normally takes down stuff where there's just like blatant, like crazy nudity like this, right? It normally gets taken down, especially if it's in a sexual context. I feel like even if you are trying to do like sex advice, YouTube is kind of like tough on that, right? But um, yeah, I I, I don't know. I'm kind of lost for words when it comes to it. It might just not be for me, but I, I couldn't hold off on making the video. And that's what I told myself last time. And that's what I was trying to stick with. But I, I can't just, I can't not talk about it. You know, it's, I, I can't let it go any longer. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I, I recommend you don't look up his channel. Um, unless that sounds like something for you. If that's something for you, then I don't know. Maybe I just found you your new favorite YouTuber. But uh, I recommend you don't look it up if you don't want to just straight up see some dude's dick or his asshole or whatever body part he decides to show next um, because they will probably all be out there uh, with within, you know, the next two weeks. So, you know, if, if you don't want that, don't go find this guy. I made it a little bit of a challenge because I only said his first name, but I'm sure you could still do it if you really wanted to. And, uh, yeah, you know, I hope YouTube maybe takes some kind of action against this because I feel like it's just, I feel like he's just too careless about it. You know, like, I don't think he really understands the, the impact he could potentially have. Um, so yeah, uh, maybe that's my, my problem with it. I don't know. It's something, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, there will be a part two to whatever, you know, I uploaded before this, um, it's probably the button because I know I read your guys' poll. I put it out. I was so excited for it. And I know that like literally last time I checked, everybody had voted for the, the virgin and the porn star date, which is, you know, awesome. I was ready to go with that, but I, I literally, I ran into technical difficulties at the time of putting that out. I wasn't home. I might be home now, but I wasn't home then. So, um, you know, I had to try and like get it on a USB so I could edit it and stuff and it just, it wouldn't download. So I had to do the button instead because that one worked and the other one didn't. But, uh, if that hasn't come out, don't worry. I heard you guys. I know that you guys want it out. Um, and so I will go ahead and put that out starting probably Thursday of next week. Cause I'll probably just do part two, uh, to the button video on Tuesday. So it'll probably be Thursday. Um, and you know, you'll guys, you guys will see that and I'll be good about updating or uploading the next Tuesday as well. Uh, cause I don't want to keep you guys waiting too long or I might even do it on the weekend or something. So, uh, I did listen to you guys. Don't think I'm like, Oh yeah, I want you guys' input. Nah, fuck you. I'm doing my own thing. Uh, I, I really did try. I just, I kind of do it, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did make sure to leave a like as well as hit that subscribe button. Uh, let's hope I don't have to make another video like this um, because this one's a, it feels a little out of my wheelhouse. Um, I, I'm not completely prepared for videos like this, but you know, it was, it was an experience and I'm glad that we, we shared it with each other, but uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you guys later. Goodbye.